Hey guys, so today you guys are gonna be working on your pixel art on Google Sheets. Um, and so I'm gonna show you step by step how to go ahead and make that happen. Uh, so the first thing you're gonna need to do is um, from your email, just go ahead and click on that waffle icon. And you're gonna go ahead and click on Google Drive. And then from your Google Drive, go ahead and click on new. And you're gonna create a new Google Sheet. And it's going to open up your document. <clears throat> Go ahead and title it Pixel Art. Still loading. Um, there we go. Okay, so go ahead and click on Pixel on the title, and you're going to title this. Oops. Pixel Art, just like that. Um, and so you guys have uh, work, been working with pixel code using um, black and white pixels. Um, so we're going to add a little bit more color today uh, using Google Sheets. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and click on this super awesome box on your Excel sheet. When you click on this little box, it highlights the entire spreadsheet. And then you're going to go ahead and resize this column to make it into a little square right about there. And you'll see that it'll resize all of your columns to that size that you want. So I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller um, to make it look more like a square. Okay, that's better. And now I'm gonna go ahead and right click on the mice, mouse pad. Double click with the mouse pad and go ahead and scroll down to insert 26 columns. So now you've created more columns. Now what we're going to do <coughs> is we're going to go ahead and pixel code um, this sword as an example onto your newly created um, pixel art spreadsheet. So in order for us to be able to do that, we need to uh, format the Google spreadsheet to know and to code when you actually, you know, what it, you the color that you want it to be. So looking at this example I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this I'm gonna go ahead and um, I see that I have a teal like a light uh, highlighter blue and then like another teal color and then I have two shades of brown so I'm gonna go ahead and do my best to find those colors so again I'm gonna click on the super awesome box then I'm gonna go ahead and double click on the mouse pad and scroll down to where you see conditional formatting you're going to go ahead and click on that. And now we're going to go ahead and set our spreadsheet to code based on the colors that I'm going to use for this sword. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, as, as you can see, I highlighted the entire spreadsheet. So this range is saying that it's going to apply to any cells on the spreadsheet. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, format the cells if it is equal to, and I'm going to write the number one. So I'm going to code the number ones to be this dark teal color. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this fill color. And I'm going to find that sort of dark teal color. It's a little bit too dark. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one. And I'm also going to select the text color box and click on that teal. Make sure it's the same teal that matches and you click on done. And what that does is Anytime you enter the number one in any of these boxes, it'll automatically fill with the color that you're coding it for. Um, so I'm gonna undo that right now. And then um, as you can see, that's only one color. I still have a few more colors that I need to code. So I'm gonna go to add new rule. Oops, as you can see, it's only gonna apply to G4. I don't want it to just apply to G4, so I'm gonna cancel that. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the entire spreadsheet, double click and click on conditional formatting. I'm gonna delete this one because it's the one I made an error in and I'm gonna go to add new rule. Same thing is equal to, and now I'm gonna use the number two and I'm gonna now find that sort of um, highlighter blue. So highlighter blue here and again highlighter blue here and click on done. Now I'm going to code this sort of light teal, light green. So add new rule. 
if it is equal to, and I'm gonna use a number three, and I'm gonna find that sort of light to green. If I don't see it on here, uh, you can go ahead and click on custom and find it there. Let me see if I can use this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Again, if you don't see it here, just click on custom and then do your best to find it on here. And then click on done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add in this dark brown and this light brown. So again, add new rule. Now I want it so that it is equal to, now let's use the number four. And then we are gonna change this to that dark brown. And this also to the dark brown, done. And then lastly, I'm gonna do that light brown. So add new rule is equal to, and I'm gonna do that lighter brown. Again, I don't see that lighter brown here, so I'm gonna click on custom. And then just do your best to find as close as you can to that lighter brown. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, there, You guys are gonna not have the exact same shade, but as long as I can say you're trying to get as close to it as you can, then that's totally okay. And I need to change this as well and click on done. Oh, it's telling me I didn't set a value. So now this is gonna be number five. And I'm gonna click on done. So I've coded this spreadsheet with the numbers one through five. So now anytime I enter these numbers, it'll automatically fill in with that color. So I'm gonna go ahead and start recreating this pixelated squared image on my document. So I'm gonna start with the top. I can see that I have three teal and three teal going that way. So I'm gonna just start right about here. I'm gonna enter the number one, 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 and one. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and do these diagonal light greens. I can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. And I coded them with the number three. So I'm gonna enter three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, highlighter blue, the twos, um, all the way down so I can see that I put in the two here, a two here, all the way down to match the sword that I created. And now I'm gonna go ahead and go back and do the outer layer of that dark teal. So again, that's coded with the one. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter this ones all around. And then I notice that there are two down here. So that's why I'm entering two. And then I'm gonna go ahead and next to these rows, there's two of them as well. And then I'm gonna fill these in. Okay. Oops. All right, so this is part of the sword. Now I want you guys, now that you kind of got the hang of it, continue pixelating the rest of the image. So the handle and the end part of the sword. Um, and when you're done, go ahead and click at the bottom where it says sheet one. So we'll click on it and rename the sword. Okay. Then you're gonna go ahead and click on this plus button. And you're gonna go ahead and get a brand new spreadsheet. And I want you to, again, start all over, highlight the entire cells, resize them so that they're nice squares. Um, then you're gonna go ahead and double tap on your mouse pad, insert 26 columns, and you're gonna go ahead and see all of your columns here. Now, the next image that you guys are gonna go ahead and pixelate is this image that you've seen before, uh, this Mario image. So uh, you're gonna go ahead and rename the sheet Mario. Um, and then you're gonna go ahead and find the image on Google. So I'm gonna go to open up a new window and then I'm gonna type in Mario pixel art. I'm gonna to go to images. And when you get to images, um, I would pick this one right here. 
uh, the grids are nice to see. Uh, or even this one would also work, or this one. Um, but you decide. I would pick this one. I'm going to go ahead and click on the image. And I'm going to take a screenshot. So I'm going to do on my computer, Shift Command 3. Oops, Shift Command 4, sorry. And I'm going to take a screenshot of this. And I'm going to go back to my Google Spreadsheet, Insert Image. And I'm going to click on Upload. I saved it on my desktop, and I'm going to go ahead and insert it. And there is my image. I'm going to move this up a little bit using the arrow key. And I move it to the side a little bit. And now I'm going to go ahead and code this spreadsheet with the red, the brown, the tan, the black, the blue, and the yellow buttons. Um, so again, you're going to go ahead and click on this awesome box. It'll highlight everything. Double tap on your mouse pad. Format. Conditional formatting. And then you're going to go ahead and code. So when it is equal to, and go ahead and select, I'm going to select that brown, sorry, that red, and that red, when it is equal to 1. So all of my 1s are going to be red. And you're going to add all of the formatting colors that you need for Mario. And then when you're done, you're going to go ahead and start pixelating. If you can't see the Mario image, just drag it over a little bit and then just move it whenever uh, you need that space. But I can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to start here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then there are three more on this side and one here for Mario. Um, but as your pixel art as you're working on your pixel art, make sure that you have enough space. I can already see that I'm going to need more space on the left. So I should actually move over my Mario image, make this a little bit longer, and then shift these. Over so that it's not. So that I do have enough space. So make sure that you look at the image before you actually start pixel art coding so you know that you have enough colors. Um, and then when you're done with the pixel image, you're going to go ahead and click on this plus button at the bottom. And now you're going to go ahead and rename this, double click on it, and title it My Own Pixel Art. So once you get to this step, you have already completed the sword, you've already completed the pixel art Mario. Now you get to decide what you want to pixel art. So you can take an image from the computer, you can Google image it, you can come up with your own. Um, but again, make sure you're following the same rules. So highlight the entire template, resize the columns to make them squares, make sure you add your additional 26 columns, and then make sure you double click on it, conditional formatting, and that you format and code what you want the spreadsheet to, uh, the colors that you want it to code into. And then when you are done, you're going to go ahead and click on the share button at the top. You're going to click on get shareable link. You're going to go ahead and copy link. And then you're going to go to your Google Classroom where I um, ask you to do so. And you're going to paste the link so that I can see your projects for today. Um, this is a, uh, not a hard process, but it is time consuming. So just please make sure that you do, are patient with it. And if you have any questions, just raise your hand and I'll come over to support. All right. Um, so good luck pixel art coding and I look forward to seeing all of your lovely projects.